Good evening. I'm Greg Floyd. And I'm Dory Marlin. Troy's football team and cheerleaders learning an off-the-field lesson about the school's code of conduct. Each squad was down a few people for tonight's game against Bishop McGinn. Craig Smith was there. He joins us live now with a follow-up to the story we first brought you Wednesday night. Craig? Dory, 11 players and 23 cheerleaders were benched. That was part of the punishment for making the mistake of moving a mischievous tradition to an elementary school last week. Take it, Damati, take it, kid! Younger students who did nothing wrong and are not being punished learned a lesson here, too. They were the junior varsity members who took the places of some varsity players who could only watch. So close to the field, but shot out of the action. Same story for the cheerleaders. Those are the voices of the JV squad, standing right next to the sideline and oh so obviously out of uniform and out of the game varsity girls. The athletic director says the kids have handled it well. You know, they know, they know. It got a little bit carried away this year and uh, we're going to make sure it won't happen in the future. Let's go, kick return, let's go. A homecoming tradition involves Troy cheerleaders unleashing eggs and tissue paper on the players' homes and vice versa. This time, it all happened at the Carroll Hill School. I've heard a lot of people say, well, you should have sent them over to clean up the, clean up the mess. We had school that day, you know, and we had five-year-olds and six-year-olds that had to walk up to the building through and around garbage, so we had to clean that up. And, uh, and we didn't know at that time who did it. I mean, we really didn't have the list till late Monday. So it was hours of interviewing and, and, and looking over uh, the security cameras. So this was not something that we automatically knew or even assumed were our kids. One man whose grandson moved up from JV for this game says he thinks school officials got it right. One game suspension, it could have been stiffer. Yeah. yeah I think yeah. they got lucky as far as the punishment by law, but as far as uh, punishment by what they're going through here and watching their team play. I hope they learn something from it and and it it teaches them a lesson and they can grow from it. Paul Reiner said while he was talking to the students this week while they were practicing, he told them this would be their best week. He says they're basically back up and brushed off and ready to go for next week's game. Craig Smith, CBS 6 News.